How is it going, database? There's no data here, and welcome back to another episode of Roblox Assassin. And in this episode, we are finally going to wrap up the March update. You know, the March update that came out a couple weeks ago. We have crafted the Elegant Saber, we have crafted the Starlight, and in this episode, we are going to take that next step forward and craft yet another new Saber. That is right, guys, we are going to be crafting the Rainbow Saber, the brand new Dream Saber in Assassin. Needless to say, it was kind of difficult to craft all these ingredients, but in this episode, we are going to finally craft the brand new Saber. And of course, we are going to do some gameplay with the Rainbow Saber, and we are going to talk about its value and its effects on the economy. If you guys are excited to see the brand new Rainbow Saber, then be sure to drop a like on this video. It helps out a whole lot. And comment down below, Rainbow. Anyway, guys, before we craft the Rainbow Saber, I'm actually going to craft another Elegant Saber right here. There we go. And this Elegant Saber, we are actually going to give away at 70,000 subscribers. That is right, guys. Once we hit 70,000 subscribers, we are going to give away a free Elegant Saber. So be sure to subscribe so that you are notified about that. And also, I'm going to craft another Unicorn because I do not want to lose Unicorn. So I have a Dark Blade here. I have a Rainbow. All right, let's craft a Unicorn real quick. There we go. Alright, so without further ado, let us put in an Elegant Saber. So I am going to have another Elegant Saber for a while. Obviously, because I'm giving away one, I will have to craft a third one eventually. I'm gonna need more spiders to do that, but yeah, I'm gonna put down an Elegant Saber. Let's go to the Starlight. I am actually very close to crafting another Starlight. All I need is another Fairy. I do not have a Fairy, so unfortunately I cannot craft another Starlight, but I probably will do that very soon. And let us put down a Unicorn, which, you know, I also have a dupe of that because I just crafted the Unicorn. Anyway, without further ado, let us craft the brand new Rainbow Saber Dream Knife. I'm super excited for this because the Rainbow Saber honestly looks really cool. So without further ado, here we go. Three, two, one boom there we go guys there we go we just crafted the brand new rainbow saber dream knife so let's claim that and let's equip it and let's use it in battle so right off the bat you can see that rainbow saber is very similar to elegant saber right now it looks normal but if we walk you will see that there is a bit of a rainbow trail so it's basically just like elegant saber but a little bit more flashy all right a little bit more colors Anyway, here it is, guys, the brand new Rainbow Saber Dream Knife that you can craft with an Elegant Saber, a Starlight, and a Unicorn. Now, once again, this is pretty much just Elegant Saber, but a lot more colorful. And honestly, I kind of thought Elegant Saber was better, but at this point, I feel like Rainbow Saber is better than Elegant Saber in terms of looks. I just really like the colors, and the trail works well, because, like, with Elegant Saber, it's just completely white. But, like, when you have Rainbow Saber, you can see all of the colors in the trail, and it's like a rainbow and that just looks super cool also do wield with rainbow saber just looks really cool but you know i don't have two rainbow sabers so that's honestly not going to be that satisfying to me so yeah once again not too much to say about the rainbow saber itself i'm just shook that there are now six sabers in the game like i remember when i first started assassin in holiday saber like the first ever saber holiday saber was unboxable in like the elite case and now it's crazy that we are finally here, like, crafting Dream Sabers. Like, that's insane to me. I mean, Sabers are kind of special to me, because, again, I started Assassin with a Saber in the case. So it's really cool to be able to, like, craft other Sabers, like Spring Saber. I freaked out when Spring Saber first came out, let me tell you. And yeah, now we have Autumn Saber and Elegant Saber. It is honestly really insane. Also, speaking of the time I started playing Assassin, I should probably point this out, because it's kind of crazy at the moment. The coal suddenly became tradable. Yeah, you know, coal, the one rare knife I don't have. Yeah, that's tradable now. Basically, I, I can't exactly show the knife because I don't have it and nobody in this server actually has it. But if you do not know, coal was a code knife in 2016 when I first started Assassin. Coal was a code knife that you could get for a little while. And coal is hands down the rarest common in the entire game. Probably one of the rarest knives in the game, period, not just commons. Like, coal is extremely rare. Now, you're probably saying, no data. Flakes and candy cane aren't that rare. Like, yeah, they're rare, but not that hard to find. Why is coal so good? Well, the reason for that is you actually used coal to craft Krampus. Basically, what you would do is you would take Holiday Saber and coal. You would craft Holiday Saber and coal into Krampus. Now, in hindsight, that was a very bad thing to do considering how much coal is worth at the moment. But yeah, it was a thing you could do. Needless to say, a lot of people did it. So coal in particular, you know, it's a code knife. 
So already it is pretty rare, and a lot of people ended up crafting it away into our Krampus. So coal is one of the rarest knives in the entire game, currently sitting at a value of 85 exotics. That is right, that is almost equal to Elegant Blade, which is one of the best knives in the game. So yeah, Cole, it's tradable. Knock yourself out. People are trading like competitor blade one plus for this thing. People are freaking out. I'm probably gonna get one eventually, but um probably gonna wait for the hype to die down. <laughs> In all honesty. Like, yeah, it's probably gonna be more rare because people are gonna start hoarding them, but at this point, I kind of have to wait for the hype to die down because it is absolutely insane. So I'm probably gonna get a trade for it eventually. I'm gonna be honest here, the only two knives I'm not going to trade for it is Holiday Saber and Krampus. Because, yeah, coal is worth more than those, but, you know, that trade is just too ironic, even for me. Like, I literally crafted a Krampus, so that's why I don't have coal. And now you expect me to trade Krampus and more just to get coal. Like, yeah, it's a good trade, but it's too ironic. I can't do it. It's literally just too ironic. But, yeah, um, 85 exotics. Gonna have to trade for it eventually. I don't know what I'm going to trade. It's going to be insane. Probably gonna have to be, like, Competitor Blade 1 plus... But yeah, we'll see what happens. People are saying that the hype is just way too much and it's going to drop. But in all honesty, I really don't know with coal because it's so rare. So many people want it. But like what happens when the demand decreases? I don't know. It's going to be more rare, but less people are going to want it. I genuinely have no idea. But yeah, when coal becomes tradable, I'll let you guys know. Probably not going to make a full-fledged video on it just because it's a common. But yeah, it's going to be insane when I get it because that knife has literally been missing from my inventory for two years now. So it's going to be insane to finally get that knife back after two long years of not having it. Anyway, we are doing great in terms of gameplay, honestly. Like, I've been getting a lot of wins. I don't know if you guys have been noticing. But yeah, I've been getting a lot of wins. Probably now that I'm focusing on the game, I'm probably going to be getting less wins. Oh, I really had to get the wrong player. Out of the two there, I seriously had to get the wrong player. Alright, it's fine. I'm going to go for... Gonna go, gonna go for the Mike man. He literally has Assassin Mike shirt. Stab you. There we go. And yeah, okay. That's nice. Great stab range. But yeah, Rainbow Saber is just really cool. I don't know what it is, but my opinions on the Saber is just keep on changing. Like at first, I thought Elegant Saber wasn't gonna be that good because it was kind of bland. Honestly, it'd probably be bland without the effect. I feel like the effect makes it really unique. But yeah, I thought Elegant Saber wasn't going to be that good because it was going to be kind of bland. And then I got it and I was like, wow, this is really cool. This is probably better than Rainbow Saber. And then I got Rainbow Saber and I'm just like, yeah, this is probably better than Elegant Saber. So yeah, I don't know. The Sabers are just cool. Even though it's probably going to decrease the demand of all the other Sabers, you gotta admit, these are pretty cool. These are cool to craft, not gonna lie. So, yeah, let us get a couple more kills. I haven't made a lot of progress in terms of competitive mode. Like, I'm pretty sure I only have a couple more points than compared to the previous episode, which is, you know, 500. But I will get the new knife eventually. Kind of taking my time. Again, not really focusing on the leaderboard. So I do have plenty of time, like, well over 10 days to get the knife, the new exotic, the pot of gold. Definitely going to get that in a future episode. Anyway, let's get this victory. Die, sir. There we go. GG. Anyway, guys, let's talk about the value of the Rainbow Saber. Not just the Rainbow Saber, but also the Elegant Saber, because, you know, the, the values have changed. Now, the Elegant Saber is currently worth 15 exotics, which is kind of alarming because that's the minimum amount of exotics that you need to actually craft the Elegant Saber. So if this goes down more, then you're losing profit if you craft it. I guess Ice Ancient, that's four, so, you know... 4 times 3 would be 12, so you would make profit, but you know, Ice Ancient is unobtainable, so you don't really want to do that. So the next best thing is Spider, and I guess Seraph as well, because honestly, Seraph is 5 exotics. I think in the value list it's 6, but honestly, I consider it to be 5, because you literally need 5 exotics to craft it. So pretty much Spider and Seraph are the cheapest mythics to use to craft the Elegant Saber, and those are 5 each. So 5 times 3 is 15, which is currently the value of Elegant Saber. So it's kind of alarming that it's already worth 15 exotics so early on because if it drops even a little bit more it's going to be not profitable to craft the elegant saber which is a little bit alarming so yeah the elegant saber is currently worth 15 the rainbow saber is currently worth 27 which is pretty good now if we look at the crafting recipe here you will see that you need elegant saber which we've established is 15 so elegant saber is 15 and really all you need is a couple more exotics like, yeah, you need the Starlight, which is decent at this point. But, again, like I said in the Starlight video, this is probably going to be worth three. Because you literally need three exotics to craft this. 
So it's Elegant Saber, three exotics right here, and I guess two exotics if you want to be generous, but really this is just an exotic and a legendary. So yeah, to craft the Rainbow Saber, you just need Elegant Saber and a couple other exotics. So it's pretty good that Rainbow Saber is currently at 27. That's a lot more than Elegant Saber at the moment. So Rainbow Saber is 27. Assuming that Elegant Saber is going to stay at 15 exotics, not saying it will stay at 15. It, honestly, it probably won't stay at 15. But let's say it stays at 15. You know, Rainbow Saber would probably drop to like 20. Because, you know, this is 3 exotics. This is 2 if you're being generous. So this is 5 exotics right here. This is 15. It would add up to 20. So if you could get an offer with Rainbow Saber for 27 exotics at the moment, that's a pretty good trade. I've seen a couple good trades for Rainbow Saber like Dreamwalker. That's probably a good trade. Like Dreamwalker is unobtainable now. So if you can trade Rainbow Saber for Dreamwalker, that's probably a good trade. I've seen other trades as well like Grim Scythe and ultraviolet that's also a pretty good trade if you can get those as well but yeah the point is rainbow saber is probably going to drop to around 20 so if you can get like a good 30 exotic even 27 exotic deal that's pretty profitable especially if you can get unobtainable stuff so yeah that's really all i have to say regarding the value of the sabers because there were some value changes from the previous elegant saber episode not too much has changed you know, it would be really cool if you could craft Rainbow Saber and Elegant Saber and maybe some other stuff together into like a really good Dream Knife or something. Maybe even something above a Dream Knife. I don't really know. Your guess is as good as mine. But yeah, like I said, unfortunately these Sabers might decrease the demand of the other Sabers like Autumn Saber, Spring Saber, Krampus, and Holiday Saber. These, these are the good Sabers. Let me say that right now. These are the good Sabers. If given the choice, you're probably going to want to get these... These are kind of just craftable dreams. They're probably not going to be nearly as good. And just the existence of the dream sabers is probably going to hurt the demand of the other sabers. Because now you can just craft a saber. So people probably aren't going to want these sabers as badly. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you're going to want a full saber set and you're going to want to collect these. But that's going to be, it's probably going to be a small group of people. Not everyone's really going to be going for a saber set. Anyway, yeah, that's really all I have to say regarding the sabers. Now we have the elegant saber here, and we also have the rainbow saber, which is a pretty good collection. Again, I didn't think I would really like these. I thought they were kind of bland because, you know, the other sabers have more details to it. Like this has bells, this has eggs, this has leaves on it. So I thought these would be kind of bland, but I feel like the effect makes up for it. I feel like the trails are a really unique effect, especially for a dream knife. So yeah, overall, the sabers are really cool. Even if they kind of hurt the demand of the other sabers and kind of changes up the economy a bit, I feel like these sabers are really cool. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for this video, but we are going to end off this episode of Assassin with an Elite Case. Really don't know what I'm going to get. Maybe I'll get a Gilded Luck. Maybe I'll get a Mythic. Probably not, but you know, a man can dream. So yeah, let's open the Elite Case. Hopefully we get something really good. Three, two, one, boom. What are we going to get from the Elite Case today? Let's see. That's a bunch of legendaries. And it seems like we are going to get the Galaxy. All right. You know, I kind of like Galaxy. It's cool, I guess. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Roblox Assassin. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and those other things that YouTube people do. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Stay purple.